Hey guys, what is up, Rubik's Life here. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm doing some walkthrough solves with my Globon 2x2 to hopefully help you guys improve your times. Now I was thinking to myself this week, like what videos could I do that could help you guys out uh, tutorial wise and I was thinking why not 2x2, I haven't done that in a good old while. So I was thinking I'll just do some walkthrough solves, I'll, I'll scramble it up, show you how I scramble it and then we'll go ahead and solve it together. If you want to follow along, if not you can just see how I solve it or what I do, my thought process of solving. So uh, let's just get right into this and hopefully you guys enjoy. Alright, so how I'm going to start scrambling it is I'm going to have a green side on the front and a white on the top, and that's how uh, WCA scrambles it and how I'm going to do that. And I don't have a scrambler up in front of me, so I'm just going to randomly turn it, and I'll say it out loud as I do it, so hopefully you guys can just follow along. So I'll go F, R, U prime, F prime, D, L prime, uh, R prime, U, and then do B just to just to have some fun. All right, so I scrambled up enough for me because um, it doesn't it doesn't really matter about timing it. I'm not trying to beat my record or anything. So um, first thing I do is I look for the side that has the most color on it. So I see that there's two reds right here. I see there's two whites, two blues, two yellows. There's a lot of uh, stuff that's already um, really nice and chunked. But I like the two whites. Uh, because they're right next to each other and that makes it a lot easier to put in and I also see that there's a white right here and a white right here So they're already all right on this side um, So my first step I think I would do is I would bring this white Down like this and the reason I'm not going to do this one I think because this is opposite and this is opposite and that would be a lot easier um, And then next I would just kind of put in this white piece right here, which would solve all of uh the alternating uh, pieces so they're white and then what I would do is I'd do the R2, E2, R2 again and that will uh, fix it and put it all in perfect order which you don't have to do but I like doing just to make it look cleaner and then I would do this uh, OLL algorithm which is like like that maybe nope <laughs> it was the wrong way like that Nope, still got it wrong. I haven't done 2x2 two two in a long time. Let's try that. And then... That. There it is. Okay. And then, oh, we just got PLL skip, so... Well, that was that one. Uh, yeah, I don't... I don't remember my PLL or OLLs very good, because I don't... Very well, I don't solve 2x2 two two that often. <laughs> but, uh, that's okay. Uh, we'll just go into the next one, I guess. Um... And we'll just go from there, so good luck to me. <laughs> okay, so I'm sorry if this looks a little bit different. I don't know if it will look that much different, but my camera uh, was out of battery, so I had to restart uh, my whole setup thing. So if it looks a little bit different, I apologize, but I tried my best to get it back to what it was. Um, so we're going to go ahead and move into the next solve here. And I'm just going to go ahead and scramble it up like this. I'm going to go R, U prime. R prime, U prime, F, D, L prime, U, F, and that's good enough for me. So I set it down and I pick it up uh, using my inspection time. I immediately notice the two white, or the two greens and two reds already right next to each other. So that gives me two really good options to solve here. And so what I would do is I would look for um, more color choices first. I would see I got two whites right here. And I'm really liking this chunk right here, so I think I would choose this one. But I would choose uh, which one would be easier to solve. So I see a green right here, which would be really quick to put in. And there's a green down here, so I know I'd have to bring it up and put it back down. So then I'd look at the reds, and I'd see I've got one right here, which I can just bring down quickly. And I've got one up top, which would be a lot easier. So I think I'd go with that. So I'd bring this red down, and then I would just go ahead and put this red in that place. Right, and then you get the bar, you put that in the back. And then opposite's red of orange, so you go ahead and solve that OLL. And then you put the bar in the back, so you have uh, two backs like that. And then, I don't remember how to do this, let's see. Oh, there we go. Muscle memory. <laughs> and then you do that uh, 
OLA algorithm, or the PLL algorithm that'll solve that, and then you just flip the sides. And I'm using the Ortega method if you're wondering, and I think I've done a tutorial on this before, so you can go ahead and look at one of my videos. Uh, I'll probably put an info card or do something like that. Leave it at the end of the video probably if you want to see that uh, tutorial, but this is just me walking through, trying to go through my thought process, so that's what this video is. Okay, so the next solve, I'm going to go U2, R2, L2, B2, uh, let's go R, U prime, F, B prime. Alright, that's pretty good. Okay, so first thing I notice, I notice the two blues on top. I see that. And I look around and I see the three whites, and that's uh, probably due to the not good scrambling, but this could happen in a regular thing and a regular uh, scramble, so I, f I immediately look for that white, and then I go ahead and start looking for my next yellow pieces, so I see I already have two yellow pieces I want to preserve, I've got a yellow piece here, and a yellow piece back here, so what I would do is I would go ahead and try to do that, put that piece in there, and I'd probably switch it just to make it easier on me later, and then I'd solve my OLL, and then I'd go ahead and do that algorithm where I switch these two pieces, so like that, and that'll solve that cube. That was a pretty easy one, and 2x2 two two is kind of hard to do walkthroughs with because it's really, really easy and really fast, so I don't know how much you guys will enjoy this, but if you like me doing walkthroughs or you want to see me do more walkthroughs with different puzzles that you know I have, uh, please let me know in the comments down below, and thank you guys for all the support you've gotten recently. And uh, just let me know what video you want me to do next, because I'll be happy to do that. So, yeah, just let me know, drop a like, do all that fun stuff, and we'll move on to the next round. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do U, F, R, U prime, uh, let's go L prime, and then D prime, and R prime. Well, okay, that is, <laughs> okay, that's really, really easy. Um... So if I forgot this, I would give it back to them and tell them to scramble, but I found three yellows that are perfect, three blues that are perfect, three greens that are perfect, three reds. So I guess what I would do is I'd look for the easiest one, which they're all exactly the same, so it doesn't really matter. So I guess I'd just go yellow in this, in this. Actually, no, I'd go green. That's the easiest way. Go green, flip that to get the bar in the back, and then solve for my blue, and then I've got this, I'd flip the cube upside down, so I'd have the unsolved on the top, and then just go ahead and do my last algorithm. Okay, so I know this video was quick, but there's not much I can really do for walkthrough solves with a 2x2, but if you want to see me do it with a 3x3, 4x4, Pyramix, any of that kind of stuff, please let me know in the comments down below. The most upvoted comment I will do in my next video, so please make sure you are requesting which ones you want to see. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. That's not my outro, is it? No. <laughs> Alright, let me try that again. So, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Be sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and of course, subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.